After their first successful strike on the convoy, U-48 sits at 100 meters, shadowing the convoy's course in hopes of evading the trio of destroyers hunting them above. Captain Krautman's already given the order to disengage and move away from the convoy so they can surface and get into a better position to make another attack run. With the unfortunate loss of their chief engineer, Gustav Marx, U-48 is left with one torpedo in their stern tubes. Although Marx was a friend to everyone on board and an extremely competent engineer, he was also territorial as a wild boar and mistrustful of subordinates, which means he didn't take the time to train any of his subordinates on reloading the torpedo tubes, and Captain Krautman doesn't trust them not to blow up the ship on accident. For now, U-48 just needs to safely leave the area and re-engage the convoy to use their last torpedo to get the required tonnage for this patrol and go back to La Rochelle successful. Well, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and this is episode number 20 of our career in season 2 with U-48, Captain Krautman, but not with Gustav Marx, because the poor fellow fell overboard and drowned in the last episode. Uh, U-48 did sink the uh, merchant ship that we were assigned to by BDU. Um, we are... Uh, less than 6,000 tons away f Well, actually, we only have to get 7,000 tons. I thought that was a 10,000 ton uh, cap that we had to get. So uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, we're going to use our last uh, torpedo, our stern torpedo, on this tanker right here. It's a Dale-class tanker. Uh, the Dale-class tanker is, I want to say it's over 10,000 tons. So that would definitely give us the tonnage that we need to uh, go back to port with our mission accomplished. Um, we're going to try and get away. I think the uh, I think the destroyers are kind of regaining their uh, positions in the convoy uh, right now. That's what it looks like anyway. They don't seem to be um, coming after us. Uh, I do want to try something with Captain Krautman real quick here. Um, I'm going to walk him back to, if I can. Well, it's not letting me. Hang on a second here. Let's try that again. We can get Captain... Ah, Fritz Krautman. Yep, here we go. I'm going to try and... That's the bow storage. Got to go to the rear. I know there's a launcher in the rear. Uh, Captain Krautman does have uh, one of those sonar decoys in his uh, pack. So we are going to go to the stern tubes, uh, the stern area, and see if we can't figure out how to... Um, How to launch that. I guess we just gotta open the door first. There we go. Uh, there we go. I see it now. Pill thrower. Launch sonar decoy. Alright, there we go. We launched a sonar decoy. Might not do any good because they might not be chasing after us. Course of 
Let's see if they go for the, uh... Yeah, they are. I think they are. Going after the, uh, sonar decoy. And not us. Let's take a look here. They're definitely depth charging. A lot of depth charges. Or there might be something wrong with the game. Okay, dude, shut up. There. Yeah, they're depth charging in the wrong spot. So let's uh, see if we can get out of here. That's got to be something wrong with the game here. Yeah, they're looking at the uh, sonar decoy. Sweet, so that's how you use it. You got to put it in someone's pack and then it shows up. And then the launcher shows up. All right. Well, that's good to know. <clears throat> All right, so it does look like... Uh, these destroyers have kind of taken up position here to follow the convoy. So I'd say that we uh, probably successfully got away from them. Um, we're going to definitely come up to the surface, get out in front of them, and then make a run on the the oiler. First thing I'm going to do, though, is come up to uh, periscope depth. Get on the attack periscope, Krautman. I'm going to take a look here and see what we can see. Whoops. Where would they be? Off to our right somewhere, I would assume. It's broad daylight. Yep, there they are. I can't tell if they're, um... They should be far enough away that we could, uh... Probably pop up... And not be seen. Send these messages here. And get a little further away. Come up to the surface here. So we're going to uh, race along, uh, try and get out in front of them. We're going to target the uh, the oiler. We're going to target that oiler because that's a lot of tonnage. Uh, and that would definitely give us our, uh, our goal. And I think we're in a fairly good spot here to uh, do something with this convoy here. <laughs> we do have the Dale class in sight. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Try that one again. We're, we're moving backwards right now, so... Um... Getting away is going to be kind of hard because there's a destroyer heading right for us. Uh, after I show the, uh, after I get the uh, speed of the ship, um, I'll swivel the periscope over uh, to about zero nine zero, and you'll be able to see they're kind of heading right at us. Um, they're a bit out from the convoy, so uh, we're going to have to fire, and then leave pretty quick. All right, 13 knots. See how far out they are. Four point eight miles, kilometers. Alright. So here's the destroyer right there, the one that I was talking about. Um, if we swivel a 
Yeah. Yeah, there she is. Almost heading directly for us. So, we're going to take a shot at that Dale class. Um, once we get a little closer here. Just want to make sure everything is set nice and tight. Because we're only going to get one shot here. <clears throat> there are other targets that we could possibly hit. Um... <clears throat> I did think I saw a C3 in here. Yeah. This guy would be a nice target, too. But he's a little further away. I'm going for that tanker. I am going for the tanker. I don't care. Uh, destroyer here may cause us some problems. I actually want to... Uh, Krautman doesn't have any... Other... Um, Sonar decoys. See what we have here. We'll give him another one. Whoops. Now he's got four. There he goes. He's going to grab one out of the closet. So, Krowman's got his sonar decoys. I may, <clears throat> I may have to uh, launch a sonar decoy and then just go as fast as I can. Uh, where they go? Oh, Krautman left the periscope. That's why uh, we can't see him now. There we go. All right, how's our destroyer friend doing out here? That's going to pass in front of us, so... We may have to continue backwards before we turn around. But let's lock on to uh let's lock on to our tanker. See what we can do here. Three point eight kilometers out. I just want to make sure that everything is right here. I really, really want to get the uh, the objective. I think this will give us the uh, third. Uh, campaign objective as well. Alright, so we've got 9-6. Alright, once we get a little closer, I will be back. Okay, we are close enough that I feel confident launching. We can see crew members walking around on their deck. Um, last distance reading I took was 2.2 miles out. I did come to a complete stop. Uh, I do realize this is a Swiss tanker. Still says 2.2 miles. I don't know if I like that. Let's see here. 2.1. Oh, I haven't set the, uh... 9.6. 
I'll set it at 9.6 right now. Then readjust when they get to uh, 170. Which is coming awfully slow. Uh... All right, that is cool. You can see them walking around on their deck. See what we got here. Let's start moving back a little bit here. One more distance reading. Then readjust the course. Two miles out. Set angle to bow to nine six. Maybe. This is so touchy. Nine six four. All right, flood the stern tube. Oh, we do have one. Oh, that's a mine. All right. Some more adjustment. Nine six four. And fire. Everything's uh, riding on this one torpedo here. Alright, hard over to the right. Get rid of these here. So we can see. Alright, where's the torpedo? There she is, right there. Alright, we're turning nice. All right, let's dive down. 133 meters. Pull ahead. We should be able to just swing around and come at him like that. Get away from that destroyer. If need be, I can move Captain Krautman uh, to the uh, pill launcher. Alright, torpedo's looking pretty good here. Moving in. Sekunden. Take a look here. There we go. Wasn't as... There we go. There's the explosion I was looking for. See if anything else blows up. Going down by the stern. Parts are falling off. Like that's a lifeboat right there. Maybe it's some cargo. See if we get another explosion. Crew doesn't seem to mind. Oh wait, it's not a crew member, that's a fitting. There's a crew member. Right there, he's looking out at sea. Ships burning and sinking around him. He's Missing home. Go take a look. Ah, there we go. 
Ah, that's the explosion I was looking for. Alright. I do hear us, uh, getting pinged, so... Alright, that ship's going down. Alright, alright, where are we? Let's head due south. Actually, head this way. Hundred and thirty meters. All right, Empire Rosalind. They all know we're here now. We don't have anything to shoot at them anyway. Keeping a close watch on everything. Wonder if we could see. Uh... Nah, she's definitely under the water now. Head due south. See if we can manage to evade this destroyer. There are other ones coming in, so. I do want to, uh. Try and. Oh, they're heading up there. Um. Routman. Get you back to the uh Let's get you back to the uh stern of the ship here. I think I just went the wrong way. I did. Captain doesn't even know where his own uh difference between bow and stern. Come on, dude, get out of my way. Down to hundred and forty meters. We'll get Krautman back into the uh, stern torpedo rooms, get ready to launch the uh, sonar decoy if they pick us up. And it doesn't look like they have yet, though. Yeah, they're looking in the wrong area. Might not even have to use that sonar decoy. There they go. Kind of makes me wonder if I popped up and... Ah, silly talk. That's crazy talk. Alright. Head south. We should be good to get away here. I'm gonna cancel the alarm. My crew is stressed. Well, we got 98% discipline. That's that's not bad. Alright, I'm going to go with we're free and clear here. I'm up to periscope depth. Take a look. They should be right behind us. Right there. Like those are probably the destroyers out there. Oh, that's that's one of the merchants. Okay, U forty eight is going to get away. Ah, uh, radio officer missing here. Get you on the radio. on the report. We just have to finish up the uh, last of the mileage, which shouldn't be a problem here. Um, head off in this direction, put some distance between us and the convoy before we surface. 
All right, we're far enough away. I don't even see any smoke on the horizon here. So we're going to continue on with the uh, required mileage for the rest of this patrol. Uh, get back to La Rochelle. Uh, find out uh, the report. See who gets awards and uh, get ourselves a new chief engineer. Uh, just a quick note outside of the game. The other day I did start uh, the next book in my queue. It's called The War Below by James Scott. It's the story of three submarines that battled Japan. Uh, focuses on the USS Silversides, the USS Drum, and the USS Tang. Uh, that's The War Below by James Scott. If you haven't read it yet, I would highly recommend it. It's a, I, mean, I can't stop reading it. It's, it's a great book. So, Anyway, these Nazis are going to go about their business and uh, see how we did. And here we are back in La Rochelle. David Peters gets the German Cross in Gold, newly established decoration award for repeated acts of bravery. It's the fried egg. German torpedo course at 181 Destroyer, torpedo course at Beacon Hill, and torpedo course at Dewdale. He's almost at his uh, Iron Cross first class. He saved the life of Dr. Prine, Carl Heinz Schuster. Captain Krautman gets credit for sinking 181 Beacon Hill and Dewdale. There we go. We get $6,000 and 100, plus 100% this reputation. And we've got progression up to 200,000 uh, 200, tons. $200 for sinking the Beacon Hill. Headed toward from Liverpool, ah, Liverpool to Boston with food in the cargo holds. And a super secret device. The Dewdale was sunk. Uh, Liverpool to Boston with oil in the cargo. Ah, it, it was a registered ship of Great Britain, but it flied a false flag of Switzerland, so I'm glad I took the shot. Uh, $12,000, 66%, 16,144 tons, uh, 12 days, 20 hours at sea. And there we go. All right. Now, first order of business for U-48. Let's find ourselves a new chief engineer. Although I may end up just promoting someone uh, within the ship here. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to promote someone. I don't see any officers. Uh, crew management menu. Oh, we got an officer. We got a chief engineer here. He's ready. Let's get him on board. Horst Eisenecker. He is going to be the chief engineer now. So, there you go. He's got a comb over. Let's get rid of the, uh, let's get rid of the hat. He is comb over. There we go. We'll go with that. Why not? All right. Well, that was easy. Uh, we've got I guess we can't board anyone else. Nice jacket. Wow. Volker. All right. So we got our chief engineer. Bye. Uh, let's refill awesome, everything awesome. that we on. can. Uh, 
see if we can uh, get rid of this, this mine. I don't see any mines. <laughs> Bow torpedo storage. Let's go into the, uh, actually go into the torpedo room and try and move this. Turn the pumps on too. There he is. Our new chief engineer, the ginger. All right, let's get you out of here. Uh, might as well speed things up a little bit. What's he working on? Diesel engines. As loading mines down here. Right. Let's go back. Was Warehouse. Du Schau mal. That's moving. I guess we're gonna have to wait to uh wait for it to get out of the way there. We can uh, restock on some of this other stuff. Definitely grabbing some of these. Uh, probably spare parts might not be a bad idea. Food. Grab some fruit. And some potatoes. Fuel. And we're up. Bill says it's moving. Alright, deck gun, flat gun. We're alright on the deck gun and flat gun for now. Storage room, that's moving. May have to, yep, one day. Maybe that thing will be gone by the time we get back. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Schau mal. Yep, it's gone. All right, so I'm gonna load up here, and then I'm going to have them uh, load it right into the tubes. That damn mine's still there. All right, well, next time I get out, I'm gonna... Just launch it, why not? Not really that concerned with it. But we gotta load our uh, stern tube too. That would have been bad. Pedo tubes. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Schau mal. Alright. There we go. Alright, we can buy one more torpedo. Schau mal. Oh no, we can't. Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. Seven hours. Beim BDU wird viel über Ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Uh. I'm gonna send my guys on vacation. I want my, uh. I want my, let's see which one would be good. I want my uh, crew's stress to be gone for the next mission here. Discipline penalty will be reset. Five for 10 days. Uh, 
We'll send them to the uh, chateau. There we go. All right, our cruise vacation has started. Uh, we'll be off duty for 21 days. Uh, and when our crew gets back, uh, we'll have our their uh, next mission ready for them. Anyway, if you like this episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you'd like to follow along through the rest of Season 2 on U-Boat, hit the subscribe. And uh, we'll see you for episode number 21, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.